Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing with Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Tonight's game is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores, Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. For tonight's game, the Playing with Power team all built different decks using some of the new commanders from Commander Legends. Commander Legends has a huge amount of great reprints, new EDH staples, and crazy new legends. We ramped up the power level to CEDH and sleeved some up for tonight's game. So let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. On the play tonight, we have Adam piloting the partner pair of Krark the Thumbless and Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. This is a two color deck that is a high risk, high reward type deck. It takes advantage of some very risky synergy with Krark's ability. Adam's opening hand contains a Cursed Totem, Arcane Signet, Red Elemental Blast, Mystical Tutor, Brainstorm, Steam Vents, and an Island. Next, we have Mike, piloting the Boros partner pair of Rograk, Son of Rogah, and Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist. This is an equipment and stack stack. This deck's win condition is suiting up Rograk with all kinds of equipment and turning him sideways for massive amounts of damage. Mike's opener contains a Windswept Heath, Lightning Bolt, Deflecting Swat, Skull Clamp, Red Elemental Blast, Winota Joiner of Forces, and an Avon Mind Sensor. Going third tonight, we have Zack playing ASE, Tyrant of Gyre Strait. This is a Landfall Synergy deck. This deck, similar to Tatiova, seeks to take advantage of the raw draw power of your commander while ramping heavily and then pulling off a combo to close out the game. Zack's opening hand contains a Wooded Foothills, Alchemist Refuge, an Island, Burgeoning, Rhystic Study, and a Force of Negation. Finally, we have Ryan, Plano Becca, Brute Chronologist. This is a mid-range deck that seeks to control the early game and then looks to combo off using an Underworld Breach Line or Isakon Scepter and Final Fortune for infinite turns. This deck is especially potent because your commander allows you to play effectively three copies of Time Walk. Ryan's opening hand contains Avernant Catacombs, Final Fortune, Sunken Ruins, Gemstone Caverns, Steam Vents, Lion's Eye Diamond, and a Training Center. Without further ado, let's kick off this demented, disastrous, devastating dogfight. Adam wins the baby food eating challenge and gets to start us off. But Ryan has a pre-game action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Steam Vents. Adam draws and plays a Steam Vents tapped. He passes to Mike. Mike draws and then plays a Windswept Teeth and sacrifices it, losing one life for a plateau. He follows that up by casting Rograk, son of Rogoth. Mike casts a Skull Clamp and ends his turn. Zack draws for the turn. He plays a Wooded Foothills and sacrifices it, losing one life to find a tropical island. He uses it to cast Burgeoning. Zack passes the turn. Ryan draws and casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. He plays a Training Center, triggering Zack's Burgeoning. The trigger resolves and Zack puts an Island into play. Ryan then passes to Adam. Adam draws for the turn and plays an Island as his land for a turn. This triggers Zack's Burgeoning and he puts an Alchemist Refuge into play. Adam follows this up by casting Arcane Signet. Adam ends the turn. Mike draws and plays a Plains as his land. Burgeoning triggers and Zack declines to put a land into play. He casts Commander's Plate and then moves to combat. He swings Rograk at Adam for zero to send a message. Adam marks his commander damage and then Mike passes. Zack draws and then casts a Soul Ring. He then casts Rhystic Study. In response, Adam casts a Brainstorm in order to avoid the tax. He draws three and then puts two back on top. Rhystic Study resolves and Zack passes to Ryan. Ryan draws for the turn and then plays a Verdant Catacombs. He passes. Adam draws and then begins by playing Cephalid Colosseum as his land for turn. He casts a Mana Crypt. This triggers Zack's Rhystic Study, which Adam pays for. Adam casts a Cursed Totem, triggering Rhystic Study again. Adam pays the one again, and the Totem resolves. Ryan sighs, and Adam passes to Mike. Mike draws for the turn, and equips the Skull Clamp to Rograk, killing it and drawing two cards. He plays a Plains as his land for turn, and then recasts Rograk, paying the Commander Tax. This triggers Zack's Rhystic, and since Mike can't pay, Zack draws. Mike ends his turn. Zack draws for the turn, and passes. At Zack's end step, Ryan sacrifices his Verdant Catacombs, losing one life, and finds an underground sea. Ryan draws and plays a Sunken Ruins. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Adam loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws and then casts his commander, Krark the Thumbless, paying the one for Zack's Rhystic Study. After his commander resolves, he passes to Mike. Mike draws and then immediately moves to cleanup. He discards a Mox Diamond and then passes. Zack draws and plays an Island as his land for turn. He goes to pass, but at his end step, Ryan casts Brainstorm, paying the one for Zack's Rhystic Study. He draws three and then puts two back on top. Ryan draws for the turn and begins by playing a Bloodstained Mire as his land. He follows up with a Lotus Petal. 
This triggers Rusted Study, and Ryan pays a 1. Ryan then passes to Adam. Adam rolls for Mana Crypt and does not take damage. He then draws for the turn. Adam casts a Chrome Mox, triggering the study, which he pays for. Then Chrome Mox resolves, and Adam imprints a Lightning Bolt. He then casts his Commander, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, triggering study again, which he pays for, losing a life to a Cephalid Colosseum. Zack responds by casting Mana Drain, targeting Sakashima. In response to the Drain, Adam casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Mana Drain. This triggers both Krark and the study. Zack draws a card, and Adam flips a coin. Adam wins the flip, and copies Red Blast, with the copy, also targeting Mana Drain. The stack resolves, with the copy of Red Blast countering Mana Drain, and the original Red Blast fizzling. Then Sakashima enters as a copy of Krark the Thumbless. Adam moves to combat, and swings Krark at Ryan for two. He takes it, and then Adam passes the turn. At his end step, Mike casts Aven Mind Sensor. This triggers Zack's Rhystic Study, and in a shocking twist, Mike pays for the study by exiling Simeon's Spirit Guide from his hand. With Mind Sensor on the stack, Ryan responds by sacrificing his Bloodstained Mire and losing a life. Zack then chooses to respond to this with a Mystical Tutor. Zack puts a Cyclonic Rift on top of his library, and then Ryan's Bloodstained Mire finds a Volcanic Island. With the stack resolved, the turn passes to Mike. Mike draws for the turn, and then moves the combat, swinging Avon Mind Sensor at Ryan for two. In his second main phase, he casts Remorseful Cleric and pays the one for Zack's Rhystic Study. With the Cleric resolving, he passes to Zack. Zack draws, and then passes. Ryan draws, and plays a Mana Confluence. Ryan then passes the turn to Adam. Adam begins his turn by rolling for Mana Crypt. He doesn't take damage, and then draws for the turn. In his main phase, he pays two life to cast Jataxian Pro. This triggers Krark, Sakashima, and Rhystic Study. Adam pays one for the Rhystic. Then Sakashima resolves, Adam loses his flip, returns the Jataxian Probe to his hand, and then Krark resolves, he wins the flip, copying the Jataxian Probe, and he targets Zack with the copy. Adam looks at Zack's hand and draws a card. Adam follows this up by recasting the Jataxian Probe, paying two life and targeting Ryan. This triggers both Krark and Sakashima, as well as Rhystic again. Adam pays for the Rhystic. Sakashima resolves, Adam wins the flip, copying it and targeting Ryan again. Krark then resolves, Adam wins the flip again, copying Probe a second time, and Adam targets Mike. Adam looks at Mike's hand, draws a card, and then looks at Ryan's hand and draws again. The original Probe resolves, and Adam looks at Ryan's hand again and draws. The table collectively realizes the power of Adam's deck, and then Adam plays an Arid Mesa as his land for turn. He then casts Chalice of the Void, where X equals 1. Adam pays for the Rhystic Study trigger, and Chalice resolves. Adam then moves the combat and swings both Krark and Sakashima at Ryan for 4. Adam then passes to Mike. Mike draws and plays a City of Brass as his land for the turn. He takes 1 damage from the City of Brass to cast Winota, Joiner of Forces. This triggers Rhystic Study, which Mike doesn't pay, which then triggers the rest of the table. Zack draws from Rhystic Study and Winota resolves. Mike moves to combat and attacks Zack with Rograk and Ryan with Avon Mind Sensor and Remorseful Cleric. This puts 3 Winona triggers onto the stack. The first resolves and he fails to find. The second trigger resolves, and he fails to find a second time. The third resolves, and miraculously, misses again. The table erupts in celebration at Mike's continued misfortune. Then Ryan takes 4 damage, and Zack takes 0 commander damage from Rograk. Mike then passes. Zack draws for the turn, and then starts off by casting his commander, Aesi, Tyrant of Gyre Strait. Zack's commander resolves, and he plays a Mystic Sanctuary. The land causes multiple triggers, and Zack orders them to draw first through his commander's ability, then putting Mana Drain on top of his deck through Mystic Sanctuary. Zack plays a forest as a second land for the turn through his commander, and then draws. He ends the turn. Ryan draws, and then casts Gilded Drake. Zack responds with a Force of Will, exiling Dispel and losing a life. The Drake is countered, and Ryan follows up by casting Obeka, Brute Chronologist, paying one for the Rhystic Study. Ryan then plays a Snow-Covered Island as his land for turn. Ryan goes to pass to Adam, but at Ryan's end step, Adam sacrifices his Arid Mesa, paying a life, and looking at the top four because of the Avon Mind Sensor. He finds a Volcanic Island, and the turn passes. At Adam's upkeep, he rolls for Mana Crypt and does not take damage. He draws for the turn. Adam casts Preordain, paying one for Zack's Rhystic Study. Krark, Sakashima, and Chalice of the Void triggers all go onto the stack. Adam orders his triggers to resolve with Sakashima first, Krark second, and Chalice of the Void last. Sakashima's flip wins, copies Preordain, he scries one to the top and one to the bottom, and draws. Krark's flip wins, and he copies Preordain again, scrying both to the bottom and drawing. Then Chalice resolves, countering Preordain. 
Adam then casts Dockside Extortionist, paying the one for Ristic. Dockside resolves, and Adam creates six treasures. He follows this up by casting Twin Flame, targeting Dockside and paying one for Ristic with a treasure. The Twin Flame triggers both of his commanders, and Zack responds by casting Negate, targeting Twin Flame with the triggers on the stack. In response, Adam casts Dual Caster Mage, paying for Ristic Study with a treasure. This is a huge threat to the table, as this will win the game on the spot. Dual Caster enters and targets Twin Flame. Mike responds by casting Deflecting Swat for free, attempting to change the target of Dual Caster Mage to Deflecting Swat itself. Swat resolves and the Dual Caster Mage's trigger fizzles because now Swat is in the graveyard. Then Zack's Negate resolves, countering the Twin Flame. Sakashima resolves, Adam loses the flip, and tries to return Twin Flame to Adam's hand, but fails to do so because it's no longer on the stack. Croc's trigger resolves, winning the flip, then making a copy of Twin Flame, and Adam targets his Dual Caster Mage. Zack responds by casting Force of Negation, exiling Mana Drain. Force of Negation resolves and counters the copy of Twin Flame. With the stack finally resolving and Adam's win being thwarted, he passes to Mike. Mike draws and then moves to combat. He swings Remorseful Cleric and Avon Mind Sensor at Adam and Winota and Rograk at Ryan. Winota triggers three times. The first resolves and he puts a Magus of the Moon onto the battlefield tapped in attacking Adam. The second trigger resolves and Mike puts Godo, Bandit Warlord, onto the battlefield tapped in attacking Adam. Godo triggers and Mike puts a Colossus Hammer into play. Then the final Winota trigger resolves, and he fails to find. Both declare no blocks, Ryan takes 4, and Adam takes 9. In a second main phase, Mike activates Skull Clamp, killing his Remorseful Cleric and drawing 2 cards. He plays a Planes for the turn, and passes. Zack draws, and then passes the turn. Ryan draws, and then plays a Watery Grave. Ryan ends his turn. Adam rolls for Crypt, and loses 3 life. He then draws, and plays a Polluted Delta. He follows this up by casting a Lotus Petal, Pain for Ristic Study. Adam passes. Mike draws and then moves immediately to combat. He attacks Ryan with Winota and Rograk and Zack with Avon Mind Sensor. Winota triggers twice and Mike reveals a Stoneforged Mystic from the first tapped and attacking Zack. Stoneforged Mystic then triggers and he searches for a Bloodforged Battle Axe. The second Winona triggers and then fails to find. Zack then blocks Stoneforged Mystic with his commander. Ryan takes four damage and Zack takes two. Mike passes the turn. At the end of Mike's turn, Zack casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. The Rift resolves, bouncing each opponent's non-land permanents. Before cleanup, Mike casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Aesi and paying the one for Ristic Study. Aesi is destroyed, and then Mike recasts Avon Mind Sensor, and Zack draws from his Ristic Study. In response to the Mind Sensor, Adam sacrifices his Polluted Delta and pays a life to find a basic island. Mike then discards down to 7 and passes to Zack. Zack draws for the turn, and then recasts his commander, Aesi, Tyrant of the Gyre Strait. He plays a Rejuvenating Spring as his land and triggers Aesi. Zack draws through his commander. He then casts Mystic Remora. Remora resolves and he ends his turn. Ryan draws and then recasts Lion's Eye Diamond. He pays 5 for both Mystic and Ristic. Ryan then passes the turn to Adam. At his end step, Adam casts Hull Breacher, paying for Ristic Study. Adam draws for the turn and then recasts Mana Crypt, not paying for Mystic or Ristic. Zack declines to draw because of Hull Breacher. Adam then casts Lotus Petal and both players agree to ignore the triggers of Mystic and Ristic. He recasts Arcane Signet. He then casts Chrome Mox. It resolves, and Adam imprints Mystical Tutor. Adam recasts his commander, Croc the Thumbless, and then moves to combat. Adam attacks Ryan for three with his Hull Breacher. He ends the turn. Mike draws, and then recasts Winona, Joiner of Forces. He follows that up by casting Colossus Hammer. Mike casts Jeweled Lotus. He sacrifices it, adding three white, to cast his commander, Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist. He moves to combat, triggering Arden, and equips Colossus Hammer to his Avon Mind Sensor. He swings his Avon Mind Sensor at Adam. Winota triggers, and Mike fails to find. In response, Adam flashes in Dualcaster Mage. The Mage resolves, and then Adam blocks with Dualcaster. Mike then passes to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack pays for his Mystic Remora. He draws, and then moves to combat. He attacks Adam with his commander. Adam takes five, and then Zack ends his turn. Ryan draws, and then starts off by casting Yogmoth's Will. It resolves, and Ryan begins by playing Bloodstained Mire from his graveyard. He casts Lotus Petal. He casts Gilded Drake. Drake enters and targets Hull Breacher. Adam responds by activating his Cephalid Coliseum with Threshold, targeting Ryan, making him draw and discard. Adam makes three treasures through Hull Breacher, and Ryan discards three cards, with one of them being Obeka, putting it into the command zone. 
Gilda Drake then resolves, and Ryan gains control of Hullbreacher. With Adam illustrating a Gilda Drake, Ryan casts Brainstorm from his graveyard. Ryan then casts a Wish Claw Talisman. He passes to Adam. Adam rolls for a crypt and takes no damage. He draws for the turn. Adam plays a Wooded Foothills as his land. He then casts Dockside Extortionist. Ryan responds by sacrificing his Lotus Petal. Dockside then resolves, and Adam creates seven more treasures. He then moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Gilded Drake. Ryan declares no blocks and takes three damage. In his second main phase, he recasts his commander, Sakashima. Sakashima resolves, and Adam has it enter as a copy of Clark the Thumbless. Adam passes the turn. Mike draws for the turn and then casts Commander's Plate. Mike moves to combat and triggers Arden. He equips Commander's Plate to Avon Mind Sensor. He attacks Zack with Avon Mind Sensor. Winota triggers, and Mike puts a Loyal Apprentice into play tapped and attacking Zack. Zack takes 17 damage. In his second main phase, Mike casts Dreneth Magistrate. It resolves, and he follows it up by casting Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge enters, and he finds a Conqueror's Flail and puts it into his hand. Mike then passes to Zack. At Zack's upkeep, Mystic Grimoire triggers, and he pays 2 and puts an Age Counter on the fish. Zack draws, and then attacks Adam with ASE. Adam declares no blocks and takes 5 damage. Zack then ends his turn. Ryan draws for the turn and passes. At Adam's upkeep, he rolls for Crypt and takes 3 damage. He draws for the turn. He casts a Cursed Total. He then casts the spiciest card to ever see a CDH table. Krark's Thumb. Adam then passes to Mike. Mike draws and in his first main phase, he casts Sunforger. Ryan responds by casting Mana Drain, targeting Sunforger. Mana Drain resolves and then Mike casts Conqueror's Flail. Mike moves to combat, triggering Arden and the Loyal Apprentice. Loyal Apprentice creates a 1-1 Thopter. Then with the Arden trigger on the stack, Zack casts Nature's Claim, targeting Colossus Hammer. It resolves, Mike gains 4 life, and the hammer is destroyed. Arden's trigger resolves and equips the Flail to Avon Mind Sensor. Mike attacks Zack with Arden, Stoneforge, Loyal Apprentice, Dranith Magistrate, Winota, and the 1-1 Thopter, and Adam with Avon Mind Sensor. Winota triggers 3 times. Mike's misfortune continues and he fails to find for all three triggers. Adam takes six damage, killing him, and then Zack takes 11. Mike then ends his turn. During his upkeep, Zack does not pay for the fish, and Remora dies. He draws for the turn. He casts a Mana Crypt. He follows up by casting Harrow. He sacrifices a land and looks at the top four. He finds a snow-covered island. This triggers ASE, and Zack draws. Zack casts a Brainstorm, drawing three and putting two back on top. Zack ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and adds 3 mana to his mana pool from Mana Drain. Ryan activates Wish Claw Talisman. He searches his library, but only searches the top 4 through Avon Mind Sensor. He puts a card into his hand and shuffles. Ryan then casts an Imperial Seal, looking at the top 4 again. He finds a card and puts it on top of his library and loses 2 life. He then regretfully passes the turn to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Planes for the turn. He casts Goto, Bandit Warlord. He finds a Helm of the Host and puts it onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and creates a Thopter from the Loyal Apprentice and equips Helm of the Host to Avon Mind Sensor through Arden. He then turns sideways and swings, killing both Zack and Ryan to win the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what an unexpected and swingy game. Congratulations to Mike on his win. The Boros Aggro strategy survived the early and mid game and was able to close it out with combat beats. The most valuable card goes to Hullbreacher. This card single-handedly stopped Zack in his tracks and was the focus of the game for the following turns. Cards like this and Notion Thief are complete game warpers in CDH and are must-kill targets for your opponents. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. If you liked this video and wanted to help out, please give us a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. Also, if you would like to see the raw gameplay of this video, be part of a great community, and have a chance to play with us, consider signing up to our Patreon. There are many tiers and many rewards available, and any support greatly helps us reach our goals. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Okay, I wanted to give a Patreon shout out to Delph Driz, Brandon Harper, Dustin Maye, Josh Kovach, Baby Jeebus, Mox Rob, Trey Payne, Baskin, Rakeko, Zods, Noah Saldana, Wayan, 
Isaac Kaja, Spiruhu, Road Grode Medflode, CZ, and Nick. Thanks a lot. You're the best.